Hey guys, Silent Seo here. Welcome back to the Uta Macross Gacha video with me. So this time round, we have Reina that's up on the line for the Gacha. We don't know whether there will be a second Gacha for this current event, but from the looks of it, there might be. Uh, but we're not too sure who exactly is um, in line for the second Gacha because it might not even be another m member of Walkure. It could be someone else from the Macross generations. Uh, and of course, yes, right now Reyna is the third in line to receive the Cosmos, I don't know, uh, Galactic Costume design um, for this um, set of costumes available. And let's take a look at the Gacha itself and take a look at Reyna's episode play to see whether it's actually worth your singing stones or maybe investment into this episode plate if you intend to do so with physical cash so let's take a look off the bat 3361 total score not the highest total score out there focusing on voice and balance stats on soul and charm however soul and charm seems to have slightly higher stats than the usual um slightly above the 600 mark which is pretty decent so i guess this is probably a pretty okay um episode play in terms of stats not the highest tier out there probably maybe around tier 2 tier 3 um so yeah let's take a look at the skills probably the skills might actually um get this play slightly uh, higher into your radar if you're actually planning to obtain this episode play all right so center skill s rank total a and support a Hmm, so I guess now they're grading the individual um, you know, components of the skills if they have like two co collaborations to it. Um, so units total and support is boosted by 20% up. So even though it is S rank in overall, but I think personally 20% isn't exactly a lot. Hence why they are A rankings on both total and support. Alright, so... Not the best center skill, kind of. We've seen better uh, out there, definitely. Alright, active skill, S rank as well. 20 seconds, well, you basically have an easier time tapping notes. So, hmm. Um, not the best active skills, so I guess. Uh, Reyna's episode play is more of a support play, even though all three skills are S rank. So live skill S rank as well, score and repeat. So score and repeat definitely means this episode play is meant to be used for long duration songs, which is basically what the main event song is currently all about, uh, Koi Halation The War. Alright, so definitely an episode play may, you might want to consider investing in if you don't have anything under this kind of category but let's take a look if this episode play actually has a special note attached to it because that special note might change things around all right so ooh, it does it does have a special note attached to it so this episode play even though it's a support episode play it does come with a special note meant for high score achievements so for those people out there who don't have episode plates like this that has that score note attached to it, you might want to consider investing your singing stones into it, especially if you're lacking in the high score department and you're struggling with um, getting a brand new high score for your own personal goals. Maybe to rank, uh, up your own um, Uta rank, you know, that kind of thing that, so you can um, get better pools for red bosses during the upcoming red boss events. Uh, that kind of stuff and of course you know having good episode plates that do high score is critical when it comes to defeating the raid bosses in the upcoming event as well including for this current event which is all about defeating your opponent's high score so all right so this episode plate in my own personal opinion it's definitely something to look out for um, if it does come around again in future gachas you might want to consider getting it if you don't have a good, uh, you know, love element, pink element, uh, you know, uh, episode plate that has this kind of capability in terms of support plus high score boost. So very, very good episode plate. Personally, the total score is kind of low, but that doesn't mean that it is a useless plate at all. It's definitely a plate that's going to do 
lots of good when it comes to a live support itself. And of course, taking note of the four divas equipable with this, with this episode plate, um, if you guys are fans of Kaname, Basara, and uh, Minmei, definitely Reina's episode plate will help a lot in the long run. Alright guys, so I only have enough for one template gachapu, so hopefully enough um, I am able to get the costume unlocked in terms of sense that I can use the episode ops in the future. If I do get blessed by the goddess of luck, maybe she will grant me a copy of Reina's episode play, but who knows. Anyway guys, most of my luck has disappeared from the last gacha video, <laughs> so I'm definitely not having a lot of high expectations for this current pool. So let's take a look and see whether the goddess of luck will bless me here or now. So one, there we go, so the signs of terrible luck is there. <laughs> but that doesn't mean that it will be um, entirely uh, pitiful. Okay, it looks like it's going to be very pitiful. <laughs> Alright, all right, so let's skip all the common stuff because who needs to see all the common plates? They've got too many of them already. Alright, moving on. Oh, this looks new. Okay. A few new plates though. So I guess we definitely have costume points for Reina's brand new costume. There we go, the only red box, so no evolution to the plate and I think this is a new plate as well. So let's take a look in the total results. So yeah, we do get points for Reina's costume, definitely not unlocking the costume at this point in time because definitely not enough points for it and yeah, so I guess the Mikumo plate is belonging to Reina's costume as well, so let's take a look. Yes it is. So that's a pretty decent amount of um, points for Reina's costume, so I guess it's Chuck's plate as well. Oh wow, okay so all three new episode plates actually belong to Reina's costume. Not too bad in the long run I suppose, um, might need more points definitely. Um, I, my guess is probably this three episode plates might not even give me like a quarter worth of points. Uh, for Reina's costume, but anyways, not too bad a pool. At least I got Reina's costume, um, you know, kind of obtained and just ready to unlock through episode ops if I have any of them spare. Um, yeah, so maybe I might do single pools. Who knows? I do have 185 stinging stones left, but you know, you might want to conserve those stinging stones for the upcoming Red Boss event. Uh, that will happen right after this current one. So yeah, anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully all the information I share with you guys uh, is useful as always to make uh, to give you an easier time deciding whether you should pull on this gacha or not. Um, well, it's definitely always uh, you know essential to try and unlock a costume because those costumes will unlock hidden potentials under the Kiawawa rank. Um, so, I don't know, everything everything seems to link together in Uta Macross, so if you kind of miss out on it, uh, it might affect you in future gameplays, um, just like how I missed out on Cheryl's wedding dress, and I'm just hoping that in the future, the, co the, the wedding dress for Cheryl doesn't come up in Kawawa ranking um, too soon, because, oh boy, <laughs> it's going to pull me down in terms of um, Cheryl's um, evolved stats due to the costumes evolution, you know, the kind of stuff. So yeah, anyway guys, thank you guys as always, and I'll see you guys in the next Utah Macross Gacha video. Until then, bye!